Hi there, just a bit about my targeting. Uh, I, when I used to work out, I would obviously get followed everywhere as a, just like other people. Um, anywhere where I'd work out, I'd get followed. Uh, I'd get death threats and uh, every time when my health was up, they would make my life harder. Uh, even at work and uh, personal life and outside, if I'm just roaming around casually. They would uh, copy. Me. They would get their gangs to copy me or what I do, uh, uh, and and like uh, work out and um, and then they would obviously obviously uh, try and stop me working out by making other parts of my life hard. So then I I would not like uh, uh, feel up to it or not uh, or I could not do it because I have to focus my attention elsewhere. Um, not all, uh, and this was like about 15 years ago. This is before like a lot of these uh, this uh, new stuff's coming to people where now people are working out mostly and doing yoga. And I was doing all this about year, years ago, uh, 15 years ago. Um, I was doing a combination of uh, working out and some bits of yoga and Tai Chi and Qigong and all this was very rare back 20, uh, back 15, 20 years ago and I was already doing it um, myself and not even going to any classes and learning it myself. So they copied my work, they copied my workout and then once, uh, and then after that they started to tease, tease me in uh, if I did a bit of yoga saying it's a gay thing. And then uh, and then shortly later they started copying me with yoga and um, and then they would obviously tease me with doing Tai Chi and Qigong so the next thing was then they started to copy me with these things and uh, now they copy me with anything else I do whether it's meditation or prayer they would they would obviously mock it m mock me or make fun of it and then uh, now they, you know, now they're advertising meditation everywhere, just as well as yoga and workout. So all this stuff, then uh, I thought they'd be laugh. They laughed at me and then copied me, and then uh, I don't see where it's going. And it's just keep they keep doing it with other new things as well. So if there's a new thing, they laugh, and then uh, following years they copy it, and then pass it on to someone or let other people know about it. And this thing just kept going on and on and on, and uh, and it's like other new things that I do. They will just laugh at it, and I'm thinking, why are they laughing at it when you're gonna copy it two years down the line? You know, they laugh because they think it's nonsense or whatever. Um, and yeah, so far it's uh, they mock they mock it with uh, if uh, or anyone else if yeah, yeah they mock they mock it if I'm praying or whatever, meditating, or anything you do in your personal life, they, they mock it. Um, and yeah, workout was uh, number one before, and this was like near 2012. But now it's like, uh, uh, now it's like, oh yeah, we can do it. So um, it's like this childish thing, we can do it now, you can do it kind of thing. But oh, sometimes it's like, we can do it, but you're not allowed to do it. Uh, and I just don't understand. It's like they've copied every single thing. And um, this really weird thing happened to me. Uh, I was playing football as well. And then they would send me loads of people in disabled chairs. Some people with no legs at all. Uh, these are like um, indirect uh, death threats, subliminal death threats or indirect death threats. Someone else uh, got it as well. Um, a guy called Targeted in Aberdeen, which is near Scotland. He got these and he showed him in his video, but not many people show show this. And uh, I was getting it and I'm thinking, wow, he's showing uh, all these disabled people, like uh, subliminal death threats, he called them. So then I just followed that, or indirect death threats. Um, so I was getting these when I was playing football every time, like 10 years ago, uh, let's say, yeah, about 10 years ago, 10, 12 years ago, I was playing football and they would set up all these uh, disabled people near me. Then later on, when uh, then le later on when uh, when I stopped playing, well, I continued playing football. But what uh, what meant was then a lot of girls were then copying me. So the people who were doing this to me, I'm like some some kind of a random strange uh, random strange girls who were doing it to me because they're bored and alone and they have nothing better to do. So they kept mocking me, teasing me, 
rather than uh, you know getting married to someone or having a proper life so they just saw me alone and uh, because they're alone so they kept mocking me saying he's alone he's got nothing better to do when really it's a reflection of themselves they've got nothing better to do and they're alone so this mocking just kept going on and on and um, shortly after I was playing football then I found a lot of girls then playing football then they were putting ads uh, yeah, like uh, girl ads on papers or whatever in front of me or sometimes they would uh, play football near me just to say we're better or you know we're girls we're better than boys we're girls we're better than boys and they're trying to have like this gender kind of uh, uh, challenging gender kind of thing but for me I was ignoring it and continuing on with my life and then uh, when the football got more and more and more with with the uh, with these girl gangs doing it um, or whatever uh, these perpetrators doing it but mostly the gangs doing it and um and then suddenly uh, women's football came out and I knew it was all uh, sort of mimicking what I was doing. Then uh, And then I told one or two people about this and they laughed and said, no, that can't be it. So uh, I could not say nothing to no one. So all this time they've been copying everything. And even in films, because uh, I watch a lot of films and sometimes uh, the same film over hundreds and hundreds of times. So, for example, uh, I watched. I was watching Oceans eleven, twelve, and thirteen all the time. Uh, about uh, I watched more films back then, and um, and also Ghostbusters, and uh, they all feminize that later on just to say we we can do it and we're better. You know, we're girls and we can do it better. So they're trying to have this gender challenging thing with me. Uh, so then they made like a film called Oceans 8, which was then obviously feminizing it. And then it became like, uh, instead of men in the movie, it was like w women having their own Oceans 8. And then with Ghostbusters, it was a, they made that into all women in, in the new one. And there was a third movie as well, but I can't remember the name. Uh, there's a third movie they also feminized, but I just can't remember the name as well. And I kept watching that over and over. And then when the women's football came into uh, play they kept showing me uh, women's uh, football football ads or papers near me or like again women playing football near me and if I took no notice of it then the next thing is then I get uh, a lot of um, news ads or people uh, explaining about uh, criminals and terror in the area just uh, these were indirect like uh, scenes to say that uh, if I didn't look up to them, then uh, they would class me as a criminal or some uh, something terror in the area. So um, uh, that's that's what they were trying to discredit me. Then if I didn't look up to them, then I ignore that, ignore the women's football and they would discredit me as a criminal because I didn't look up to them. Uh, they copy me and then they want me to look up to them. Uh, but it's not like directly uh, every individual player copied me. It's the idea they pass on to them. It's whoever passes the idea on to them. Uh, they they copy they copy me from that. Um, and there's the, yeah there's so there's so much they've been mimicking me and uh, I thought it was just me, but I think it's as a collective as well. Uh, they've also when I've been to London, they've shut down a lot of stuff and uh, just made up to say it was a lockdown. I go to this famous um, like pie and mash shop. It's like been open for more than a hundred years. So it's been, so on the title it says it's been more than open a hundred years. So so if it's been open more than a hundred years, that would be like 1920s it's been open till, open there. And uh, they shut that down. Uh, so I went there once, I came back and it was shut down. Uh, and they said they weren't making any money, but I saw that shop packed out every time. It's a load of rubbish. And uh, I, I knew it was a load of rubbish. And then, um, and there was three other ones they shut down. This was after lockdown. It wasn't like during the pandemic. Pandemic. So um, so there was another one. It was a famous uh, Chinese one, and there's a lot of uh, formal people went there, business people. So uh, uh, it was called Jinju. And when I went there first time, it's like Wagamama, only ten times better. That's what it is. But you were getting nowhere apart from London at the time because it was such an expensive shop and um, expensive restaurant, sorry. And uh, uh, and when I was there, I was getting, um, I was getting called by TIs saying, look, we're going to, we're, we're going to like um, 
put up a suit against this against home office or, or, or what they've done to targeted individuals and this and that and i knew that was a straight away because i worked for the i worked for the home office then and uh, they did this on they did this deliberately because they set up targets to call me which they didn't even know what they're involved in uh, to say that we're going to put up a suit against home office to do de to deliberately trap me and my career or my job i was on because i worked for the home office so they wanted to basically trying to jeopardize that because if I put a foot on it then obviously I'm going to be going against uh, uh, what I work for which is not really right so so then uh, they're trying to uh, put me off track there so I come back to that restaurant um, again after a long time suddenly there's a gas leak and all the shops are closed around all the shops uh, then I come back a third time a couple of months later then they say the uh, the whole restaurant is shut down and it's not because of the fact that uh, and what they told me they said that they're not making any money uh you know business went great every time i went past that restaurant it was packed out full of business people like formal meetings everything in that ginger restaurant and uh, it was packed out people were sitting all on the outside there were queues and it was a load of rubbish they were making a lot of money so they closed that down just because they didn't want me to go there uh, they've been also delaying uh, train where I meet people on train. Uh, so if I'm meeting people in London, then then they will delay the entire train. And uh, this, see, if it happens once, you you will know it's accident or twice. But they've done this a number of times. So I always, always, always when I'm meeting people, and I could not believe they delayed the entire train. I was looking on the entire train. I could see people there for work, like in business attire with briefcases and everything. And I can't believe. They basically made all those people late just to delay just to uh, delay my time of meeting someone just small or not even big. This is how extreme and weird they are. And, uh, and they've also closed uh, a famous club in London that I went to. So I went there first a, a long time ago. Then when I came back to it, uh, suddenly all the people were just rubbish. The staff were rubbish. Not staff, I mean uh, um, like... Uh, like not the secondary staff so they're like the first staff like you got people like whatever guards and things like that they were the same but the secondary staff like who were serving they were just like all rubbish uh, it wasn't really great then no more and then uh, down the line i heard um from rumors that people that i know that that was going to close because now it's become rubbish so then turning places into rubbish around me and then closing them down they just casually uh, um hooking me with rubbish people and uh, casually just closing places down like it's a casual thing you know like let's hook him up with this silly person let's hook him let's close this place down you know just casually doing it like uh, you know like it's a flick of a switch then uh, they closed that down then there was another one they closed down in london i can't remember the place i might have to do another video and come back to that one but yeah, they've been closing a lot of stuff down. And um, the Wilco one on the news, they closed that one down as well. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I'm in Leeds, uh, so I went to the Wilco shop. I've never been, I only go there once every every year or so just to get the old thing. Because I'm not very much, uh, I don't need a lot of appliances or stationery. So I, go, I went there to get like a, a multi-plug adapter. I got it. Then the next thing, uh, next thing, um, I hear on the news is gonna close the Wilco. So it's very strange. And now it's happening with Boots. Like I went to go to Boots, I come out, and then the next thing they're saying they're gonna close three hundred stores. But um, but this is not in uh, three hundred stores. But they're saying in Wales so far. But I'm not too sure, and uh, any other part of the United Kingdom. But um, it's like they're changing like literally everything. And they put bringing out shops from London in Leeds now, so uh, because Leeds is a small, small place, so it won't have a lot of the high street stuff like London has, uh, and top restaurants. So um, so after going to London, after going to Cafe Concerto, now in Leeds they're opening up a Cafe Concerto, and I know they're mimicking um, stuff what I do. So if I'm in London, they'll open up something similar when I'm in Leeds. And uh, same with this uh, hot chocolate shop. It's like a famous hot chocolate shop. I can't remember where it is. I think it's High Kensington. I can't remember. There's a chocolate shop in 
London. It's like a, a for, it's not hotel chocolate. It's a famous one where, where it's a bit more uh, customizable drinks for hot chocolate. So now they're bringing that to Leeds, and it's a famous one. Uh, uh, and they brought also pizza programs to Leeds now. So they just, it's like they're rearranging the entire environment around them. So I go to Pizza Pilgrims in London, which you can't find nowhere else. And now they brought that to Leeds. So they brought three things to Leeds. Pizza, Pil Pizza Pilgrims, Cafe Concerto, and uh, and um, the Hot Chocolate Shop. Can't remember the name though. I uh, can't remember the name. I wish I knew. I forgot. I just go into some places to have an eat or drink sometimes. I don't know the name. But the main thing is they've, they've literally copied everything I've done in terms of what... Uh, the the main things is like workout, football, yoga, tai chi, qigong. They've copied me all of those, because fifteen twenty years ago that stuff wasn't known to no one, especially the tai chi and qigong, and now they've copied like that off me. And once they copied everything, they just told me to get lost. But I don't want to say the f word on he on this video. But if you substitute that for the f word, then you'll know the severity of the case, of the situation, and they're that's that's what they've done. Um, giving it to other people who deserve it and then not allowed me to do it by uh, by um, by you know disrupting me at the gym or something like that so it makes me awkward then that I don't need that, that I don't want to go to the gym, gym so by not allowing me to do these things is they disrupt my disrupt my life uh, to, to make it harder for me to obviously do those things or if I want to do them at a gym they would obviously harass me there so then I I won't so then I uh, they would harass me at the gym so then uh, I would be uncomfortable to go there again and that's how that's the way they stop you uh, working out and then obviously give it to someone by making their life better for them uh, and one thing I don't understand is they're calling people a lot of criminals terror but or, or targets yeah so uh, like us but they're calling them all this stuff, but then they're copying their stuff or ideas. It doesn't make sense. Why copy someone? If you think they're criminal and you're calling them terror and all this stuff, why copy them then their ideas? If you think they're a criminal, then then you're just as no good. And it just doesn't make sense. It's, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Why copy? calling someone a criminal or terror or whatever the names are discrediting them but then they're copying they're copying your ideas it doesn't make sense so if those ideas belong to people who you call criminals and they were terror then why are you getting the ideas off them it just uh, it's very contradictory that very contradictory uh, contradictory it yeah it's just it's just silly and uh, just doesn't make sense it's just all it is is they just want to use all your energy and then obviously discredit you after like you're nothing and it's like it doesn't even end there as soon as they get your ideas it's like they want more energy they want to drain, uh, drain you more and more and, um, and there's like uh, no, nowhere else you can go, nowhere else you can think about it. And uh, the more energy they want to drain, they just want to drain more and more and more. And then discredit you more, and then it's not enough there, they want to discredit you even further and more. And I just don't understand. Anyway, I think that's enough for just this video. Thanks. Uh, tell me your uh, views on this, if you've had anything similar. Oh, one more thing. Um, I mean, they copied my uh, stuff that I did, like workout, yoga, tai chi, and qigong. Um, I didn't. Um, <coughs> sorry, after, after when they copied me, I don't think it's just that they copied. I mean, they copied me, but what I mean is. Uh, I thought it was only me, at the time, but I think now it's a collective. So when I think I'm copying my workout. Tai Chi, Qigong and Yoga I thought it was only me and just me but now when reading other stories they've copied other people so I'm thinking they've copied not just me but everyone else as a collective 
So um, it, it could be other people's workout regimes and not just mine and also other people's yoga routines, not just mine and other people's Tai Chi and Qigong. But when I say other people, I mean not just normal people, I mean like other targets they've copied as well as a collective. So they could copy four or five, six, seven targets, uh, all their workout regimes, all their, um, all their yoga routines, all the Tai Chi, all the Qigong, and then say, and then obviously after that, just uh, harass them and target them and discredit them even more, like, uh, like they're nothing. And then each target thinks that they've, that they've uh, only been copied off them when they don't realize it's several people just like them they've copied off as a collective to gather all their ideas. Uh, let me know your um, let me know your thoughts on that um, in the comments. Thanks. Bye.